Thursday, December 7, 2024. The missions the church must see anew. Acts chapter 1, verse 8. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, and all Judea, and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When people who know prayer form oneness, God's power begins to show. When the members of the early church gathered to pray, Rome and the entire world changed. What might that reason be? First, they were equipped with the mission system. These people gathered with the covenant of 777 that Christ gave to them. They concentrated on prayer of enjoying God's power in the morning, day, and night. Then, they're capable of solving any problems they face. This was the absolute partisan of the early church and their mission system. Second, once they equipped themselves with the mission system, they formed oneness in their meetings. Then the courtyard of the children and Gentiles in the church was revived. Also, the courtyard of healing that saved many people arose as well. Those who received answers gathered at the church from Friday to Saturday and formed oneness. Also, those who healed the 237 nations and the 5,000 tribes and made them into the summit formed oneness. Third, they knew the future that God would carry out. They formed oneness while enjoying the things hidden from long ages past, but now revealed until forevermore. That's why world evangelization was bound to take place. The remnants must also receive the answer of world evangelization that the early church received as well. First, you must challenge yourself through the prayer for the power of God's throne to be established in you. Dear God, may I not be deceived by the wilderness. May I conquer the wilderness with the word that you gave. I pray in the name of the living Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.